Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page six, page six. So page six and seven are gonna be a collage of these cut-aparts, and each one of the cut-aparts has been made into a card, so there's room for two photos behind each one of these. So you're gonna start um, with your uh, pattern in solid in the yellow. Let's go ahead and lay that down. And um, this is a really simple page. Probably it's more simple than I normally would do, but I just love the cut apart so much. I wanted to make sure that they, you know, kind of got an opportunity to stand on their own and shine. Um, this uh, album, as you may or may not have noticed up until now, does not have any pockets. So um, pockets would be, would be another alternative to make sure that you got these worked into your design. So, yes. Not a lot of pockets, tons of photo space though. All right, just gonna verify this is the right way. Orientation. And like I said, each one of these is a cut apart. So basically you cut, cut this out and then you're gonna add an eighth of an inch in height and width and create your card. Each one of the cards is gonna be held together with a magnet. You may opt to do something different. Since they are cards, it would be very easy to um, put a, wrap, a ribbon around the card before you place your designer mats and have it tie if you don't want to use that that many magnets but we haven't used a lot of magnets in this album up till now so I'm going to go ahead and splurge. Um, I prefer magnets um, because it doesn't interfere with the paper aesthetic necessarily. Sometimes the ribbon adds to it, sometimes it's a distraction. The other reason I like magnets is because you can actually place a photograph on top of it. There's no interference. So something to consider um, and if you were going to do a ribbon you would just you know, wrap it around the scored end, place your mats front, place your mat on the front. You just want to tape it down in the back. No reason to uh, waste any adhesive necessarily. And then you'd come around and tie a bow here. Alternatively, you could just do partials, you know, a, a strip here and a strip here. Okay, so I've opted to do the magnets, so that's what we have. Um, I'm going to give you these measurements, but I want you to. Uh, if you decide to replicate the page, do your own measurements because depending on how you trim each one of the cut aparts, it may vary slightly. Okay, and I did these right away at the beginning because I knew I wanted to use them. And my best recollection is I just cut to what was clearly the frame. And that's a little harder to find on the ones that have a white around it. So there may, this one came from, I think, think the 8x8 and it had a little saying on top of it. So if it's got a white frame around it, it's a little bit harder to judge. But when it's got a color, it's pretty easy. Okay, so we'll start with the first one. This is 8 and 1 8 by 6. 8 and 1 8 by 6. You're going to score that in half. Okay, and we're going to glue that down here. I had to double check that I actually pushed the record. I did. <clears throat> so I'm going to leave these kind of where I want them so I can decide where to put this. Okay. It's, um, it's not perfectly centered. It's a little bit lower, but just barely. I'm doing that because this is taking up some of the header. Um, I just think it creates a more balanced look. Okay. I think that's what I like. So you can see there's a space here and I'd like to put some embellishments when there's these little stamps that come as part of the die cuts. So I'm going to see if I can't do something with those. Okay, so this is in. I need 
need to take the backing off. Okay. Oops, almost did that upside down, guys. Okay. Okay, and again, each one of these has a magnet under these. Now because of the, I'm using 8x8 and 12x12, 12 12, um, there's a lot of cut parts. So one of the things that I'm doing um, on the inside of these is I'll use the flip side of the cut apart for journaling on the top. And then there's room for a photo here, but of course you can also place a photo here. You could easily put a photo up here with just this peeking out. Okay, and for this side, page five, I've opted to use the fuchsia, which is the base color of the opposite page. And then on the collage that I do on page six, I'm going to use the yellow uh, as the base. So here I'm going to work in some more flip sides of, of these cut aparts. Now this one's a little bit bigger than the other cut apart, so I may have to add another strip to the top. Yeah, it looks like it. Because this was cut apart from a page, uh, a collage page. So it's not quite uh, the same size as a small ephemera card. Okay, so I think I'm going to do a, just a real thin strip of fuchsia on the top. So I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. So it's the right width. A little more. Okay, get some ink on it. I gotta see where the card falls. So it's falling really close to the edge of this magnet. So what I'm gonna do is push it up. And then put a strip down here. In fact, the strip I think I'm going to use is going to be a sticker. I think. We'll have to take a look at that real quick. That way it's not too hard to measure. Um, and if there's overlap, that's okay. Okay, so here's our sticker sheet. Being creative is not a hobby. It's too long of a scene. This is the right width, but I don't like it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so I'm going to look at the strips that I've trimmed off my 12 by 12s. And I think this is what I'll use. Let's get artsy. Yeah. And we'll just come up a little bit on the card instead of trying to do a color block. All right. That would have looked good on top too. But I was afraid I wouldn't cover um, the magnet. You have to have sufficient paper on the, on the uh, edge of the magnet so that it doesn't want to bubble the paper and then leave a little bit of a gap. That's something to always keep in mind when you're putting your magnets in. Are you going to be doing any color blocking and making sure you're clear of that area if you are? That looks good. 
Okay, so we got a little journaling or photograph space here, 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 here. Now we need to cover this. Now this is a one of. So I didn't have two of these. Um, I don't know how that's possible. I must have used the, the pattern that was on the reverse side somewhere else. It didn't have a journal on the back of it. The smaller ones had journaling on the back of it. This one didn't. Um, now I've got some journaling cards left, but they're all... Uh, vertical, not horizontal. So I'm not. I'm leaning against, leaning away from using horizontal, for, at least for the moment. As you can see, there's just so many to choose from. So that's that's an option. Maybe I'll do that. I kind of like it. So let's look at it the other way with the flowers toward kind of like both now there's no bird in this one like there is here so this kind of forces orientation and of course there's words here that forces an orientation so I think I'll use this one I'm going to trim it down a little bit and lay it back in and make my decision I like it on the bottom I think it creates some sort of a visual path from here to here. So I like that. Oh, I just covered that up and I need it. This is the flip side of the butterfly. So I'm going to come back and look at doing some embellishments after I start, um, after I complete page uh, seven. And then we'll pull them back together and see how it looks. So that's it for page six. Okay. Nice and simple. Again, oh, I forgot to tell you what these measurements were. Again, remeasure everything on your own, but I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what they are right now. Okay, so this is four, by six, four by six, you're going to score this in half, okay, four inches across, six inches tall, scored in half, and this is, I'm guessing three, uh, three and one eighth, and that's because of the border. Three and one eighth by eight and a quarter. Three and one eighth by eight and a quarter. You're going to score at four and one eighth. Four and a quarter. Uh, four and one eighth. Uh, let me double check. <laughs> Something doesn't. My math is not mathing. <laughs> Double check. Magnets everywhere. Yeah. So it's eight and a quarter. You're going to score four and one eighth. So I did say it right. I was just double checking. Okay, that's it. Page six. Back soon with page seven.